about our 2019 Yellow Book available. If you have not received one, please reach out to me or your uh, local sales rep and I will get that uh, out to you right away. I still have uh, the 2018 color brochures. Actually, we are out of those, but we are working on the 2019 as we speak. So if you want to get on the list and tell me how many you want for those, go ahead and see. Send me an email to information for both my satellite at the end of the presentation. During the presentation, everybody is muted. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you have a dashboard and go ahead and enter your questions and we'll add, uh, answer those at the end of the presentations. So if you do have a, a 2019 yellow book, go ahead and open that up and maybe uh, jot down some notes on all the new and exciting things that have already happened at the property and also in the future too. And if you still have the 2018 yellow book, um, go ahead and do these uh, pages and turn up that. Uh, uh, so with that said, I am going to turn the presentation over to Natalie. And Natalie, you should have the controls. Great. One second. I have controls, but where do I? Right down there in the bottom in the okay. left-hand corner. Or you could, there you go. Got it. All right. Aloha, everyone. Happy holidays. My name is Natalie Caceres. I am the Director of Sales at the newly branded Waikiki Beachcomber by Outrigger. Um, so you can see I'm here on the left, and then I have um, my Sales and Service Coordinator, Lauren Yamamoto, there as well with our contact information. If you ever have any questions or are on island or plan to come to the islands for um, a site inspection or even um, to stay with us. So just a little bit of a background on the Waikiki Beachcomber back in 2005. Outrigger purchased this building um, and branded it as the Ohana Waikiki Beachcomber. And that was for about five years. They then decided to franchise the building into a IHG, Holiday Inn Resort, Waikiki Beachcomber. So some of you might be familiar with this brand. Um, it was quite a long time that we were branded the Holiday Inn Resort. Um, but this year, February of 2018, they decided that we will go independent and renovate and rebrand. So I'm here to sort of showcase to you guys what the brand new rooms look like and what the future property will look like um, after Q1 of 2019. All right, but before we start, let me just show you a quick video of the day in the life of the Beachcomber guests. As I mentioned before, um, we were a Holiday Inn Resort, Waikiki Beachcomber, um, and this is what our product looked like for the last seven years. Um, but earlier this year, we decided to renovate, and this is our brand new, newly styled rooms. Um, this is our deluxe ocean view category with a king size bed, um, and then we also changed the bathroom um, vanity area as well. So you can see it's a lot more refreshed, modern. Um, light and all ocean inspired so you can see here before and then after 
So they just did a really great job. And then I just wanted to point out that right behind the beds is a surf photographer, very um, well known locally. His name is Zach Noyle. Um, and then we have other artists that are featured in the rooms as well. Um, we have a 55 inch screen TV, smart TV, so guests can um, stream all of their YouTube, their Netflix onto the TVs here. Um, we have a mini refrigerator in this um, cabinet area here, and then a Keurig coffee maker. So it's a refreshed um, set of amenities as well. Another very important uh, refreshed amenity we have is the Yukata robe. So they're very lightweight, Asian inspired. It's just a, a new way for us to showcase that we are upgrading our amenities. Um, so every, every room will have two sets of uh, these Yukatas and in-room slippers too. So these are our views. We have views starting from Waikiki view and then our partial ocean view, ocean view, and then deluxe ocean view. So our deluxe ocean views are more premier views. We guarantee 17th floor and above, and then we guarantee a diamond head view with um, Waikiki Beach as well. So our top, top selling points for this property is really our location. We're in the heart of Waikiki. We're in the middle of all the shopping, all the dining. We're next door to the international marketplace. And we actually have Macy's on property here too. So with being in such a premier location, 70% of our rooms are ocean views. All rooms have private balconies. Um, so location, location, location is really our top selling point. Um, we're home of the foodie's dream. So we have Maui Brewing Company, the only um, Maui Brewing on the island right now, and they serve farm-to-table food and um, craft beer. So everything that they serve there is all locally sourced. There's no frozen foods. Everything, all the ingredients are sourced from the islands. Um, and then we have uh, a cafe, an upscale espresso cafe in the lobby. Um, they serve up all of the really delicious lattes and panini sandwiches so that's open from 6 a.m to 6 p.m and then maui brewing is open from 7 a.m to midnight and serve breakfast all day um our crafted local experiences i mentioned we're using a lot of local artists with this design and with this rebranding so monthly we'll have a modern terrace of modern art surf art showcase um so we'll we'll be um converting the pool deck into a surf um, art showcase area. And then in the room is our wave mural by local photographer, Zach Noyle. And then we'll have music exclusively composed by an artist, Makana, that's um, playing in the lobby area as well. And then a really exciting um, piece of art is our project elevation. So we're calling it 24 Floors of Flora. So each guest room level will have a hand painted native plant or flower and they're painted in order of elevation as they're found in Hawaii. So, for example, if um, we're on the higher floors, those are the flowers or plants that are found um, on the tops of Mauna Kea or Haleakala. And then the lower floors would be flowers or plants that are found at the beach levels. So each floor will have a different native um, plant or flower. And those are hand painted by a local artist. And then Maui Brewing, again, open from 7 to 7. We have the island's largest bar, and they serve breakfast all day, live local music each night, and um, breakfast is served um, from 7 a.m. to midnight. So it's just a really fun place to be, like you saw in the video. Um, you know, we're in the heart of Waikiki. We're just in a really cool place, um, a vibrant location. So with the modernization, we're also upgrading our pool deck area. So right now it is um, closed, but it will open March 15th of 2019. Um, and we will be redoing our jacuzzi area. So you can see in the bottom left corner, we're creating more of a social pod, a bigger jacuzzi area, creating more shade and life plants and cabana. So it'll be a lot more modern um, area for your guests. This is the exterior, so we'll have a living wall right here on the outside with lighter beech woods, um, just giving that really nice sense of arrival. So that will also be done um, by March. So we're really calling our whole entire modernization completed by 
March of 2019. This is the escalator journey going up into our lobby area. So this is um, art by Zach Noyle as well, the same artist that's in the rooms, um, but just creating a more of a underwater feel when you're coming up into the lobby. Um, and then these bubbles here right above the escalator are paying homage to Don Ho from the song Tiny Bubbles. He was um, an entertainer here at the Beachcomber for many, many years and an icon in Hawaii entertainment. So that's our property in a nutshell. Um, we're 498 rooms. Again, our modernization will be completed in March of 2019, but any guests that you're booking into our property now, will, all rooms are completed. So um, there are no longer any older rooms. All rooms, all guests will stay in newly styled rooms. And then as a brand opening special, we're doing a booking bonus for our travel agent. So if you book a minimum of five nights per reservation from now until June of 2019, you'll receive a $75 cash bonus. All you need to do is just visit agent.outrigger.com. There is a PDF there to complete with the reservation number, your confirmation number, the guest name, and then you just fax that back over to us. We'll verify and we'll um, send you a check for $75. And there's no limit on how many bookings you can send that over. And this is what the PDF looks like here. So $75 booking bonus. And then again, it's on the, um, the website too. And all the information on how to complete it is on the bottom. So mahalo for your time. Any, any questions for anyone, from anyone? I think there are. Uh, we've also uh, okay. placed that, uh, the booking bonus as you just saw here, just a moment, also on our website too, so. Okay. There. We'll have that. And uh, either way, just want to make sure that you get some money. Um, we have a couple of questions here.